Hi, this is Rahul Gujar and I welcome you to the AWS Solutions Architect course. I have close to 20 years in the industry working on technology solutions and over the past 7 to 8 years I have been working on cloud solutions for a number of organizations. In this course, I will be taking you through a number of services that the AWS platform has to offer not only for you to pass the certificate but also you as an architect would be able to build fault tolerant and highly available systems. As businesses are continuing to grow at a rapid pace, cloud adoption has become crucial. Businesses are finding it difficult to find qualified professionals that have a track record of delivering results. The AWS Solutions Architect certification is one of the most sought after certification in cloud in the industry. Whether you are a software developer, a system architect or a sys administrator, this certification will take your skills to the next level and give the confidence to business that they have hired the right skilled person. The course is structured in a way that enables students to learn from the very basics of setting up their own AWS environment to the advanced concepts that will enable them to build complex architectures. Let's go through the agenda of this course. We first start with the basics of cloud computing and set up the AWS account. Once we have set up our basic AWS account, we would learn one of the most fundamental services of AWS which is identity and access management. Here we would be looking at the users, roles, security credentials that are important for us to secure our account as well as our platform in itself. We then start looking at the compute service of AWS which is Elastic Compute Cloud. In this service, we will be learning how to spin various types of instances and how we can work with volumes, AMIs and many more advanced concepts. Once we have understood EC2, we will then be looking into our virtual private cloud or the networking concepts of AWS. These are very crucial in terms of passing this exam. One of the most important aspects of any cloud service is security. And from a security perspective, we will be looking at security groups, route tables, and NACLs when it comes to virtual private clouds. Once you have looked at the basics of creating your own virtual private cloud, we then move on to one of the most fundamental parts of creating highly available and fault tolerant systems with the use of elastic load balancers and auto scaling. We then move on to the database services such as RDS which is Relational Database Service, DynamoDB which is the NoSQL database from AWS, Aurora and Redshift. Another important concept of cloud is building loose coupled architectures and we do this by understanding some of the messaging services like SQS or Simple Queue Service, SNS Simple Notification Service and SWF which is the simple workflow service. The course is structured in a way where we understand each of these services through the use of labs. We have taken great care in having 80% of our understanding of the platform through labs. As part of this course we will also be taking you through some of the white papers that are absolutely essential for you to pass the exam. White papers which talks about the best practices in cloud, security, fault tolerant systems, storage and databases. We will be offering you the key points to be taken from each of these white papers. So as you would see, we are covering a lot of ground as far as this course is concerned. I have just given you a brief on what you should be expecting from this course. And I would request you to look at the course content that is available on our website. So what are the prerequisites for this course? Well, you just need to have an AWS account. If you don't have one, no worries. We will be taking you through a step-by-step -step guidance on how to create your own account. Amazon provides you with 750 hours of compute service and we have ensured that all the labs don't 
take you beyond this 750 hours limit. You would also need a laptop or a computer to work with, with a good internet connectivity. And the last thing is, if you have some amount of understanding on Linux and Unix commands, that would be really great. So finally, what are the key takeaways from this course? You will be able to design highly available and fault tolerant systems. You would also be learning how to lift and shift or migrate the services from your on-prem or existing systems onto cloud. With discussions around white papers, you will also be able to understand what are the best practices of moving to cloud. And finally, it would enable you to appear for the other certification programs and become a true cloud professional in AWS. So come and join me in this exciting journey of AWS and I hope to see you soon in my class.